Cedar sinai is one of the largest deliverers of health care on the West Coast. We run a large primary care network, and at the same time, we also deliver the most complex, complicated quaternary and tertiary services, programs which really require the highest medical skill and talents in the nation. Cedar sinai has gone through a tremendous transformation. We went from a high-quality, community-based hospital to an academic powerhouse. One of the great advantages we have, of course, is living in one of the most wonderful and diverse cities in the country, and it doesn't hurt that the climate isn't too bad either. We are blessed by a great environment, intellectually as well as personally, and that allows us to have the very brightest trainees who make our chances for continuing to push things forward and innovate even greater. The Pulmonary Critical Care Fellowship Program is really designed to create not only outstanding clinicians, but it's trying to create the leaders of our field to be able to lead programs, lead ICUs, to become outstanding teachers, and then also to become leaders in the field in research. Not only are we state-of-the-art in all the, the current technologies for the care of the patient, we also have the Sim Center where they can go using models uh, to do a lot of their procedural training and other aspects of the clinical care. But the people with whom we work, they're people who are truly world-renowned in, in what they do. The ability to learn from those people and their willingness to teach us is really an extraordinary experience. One of the reasons that I came here was because it felt like a family and it felt like people actually cared about you know, our development and our growth. They allow us to make decisions and really only jump in if they feel like there's an educational opportunity that needs to be provided at that time. We also have uh, several unique um, rotations here. Our fellows function in every aspect of lung transplant. We have a pulmonary vascular disease rotation. And I try to get our fellows into our cardiothoracic intensive care unit for at least one month, usually two months, so that when they go out after fellowship, they can really handle anything that, that uh, is presented to them. We're the biggest hospital here in Southern California. And so because of that, we're gonna have a, a diverse population of patients. From a clinical aspect, they'll have the ability to see patients with all different types of diseases. There's a lot of different types of physicians here, and that diversity really helps you kind of figure out what's right for you and how you want to proceed as an attending. I haven't yet found something that, I, that there's not a mentor for. I think all of our program leadership put very strong emphasis on ensuring that the trainees' mental health is well protected. We have very frequent check-ins with our faculty and our program leadership in regard to how we're doing, if there are specific challenges we're facing. You can rest assured that if you choose Cedars as your fellowship opportunity for pulmonary and critical care, you're going to get all the exposure you need. But I really think the most important thing for medical training is to be in an environment where you can thrive and where people support you and, and care about you as a person. Mm -hmm.